hello everyone in the previous video we implemented the server side logic how we can return the data from the server side and how we can add the ajax function in the client side so now the time is to uh, get rid of this error so why this error is happening so this is happening because we passed to wrong parameter to this uh, column attribute so here we need to pass the data right so first uh, i need to get rid of this data right so let me also name this data because it is wrapped in the data uh, data key from the server side and then we need to pull the key from this uh, specific attribute if i want to get the id so i need to type uh, id because it's uh, wrapped inside like uh, this data dot id so if you can't uh, want to get this uh, id no let me uh, tell you that if it is stored like this one so if you want to get the id from the uh, attribute so you need to type uh, data dot id or you need to call this uh, data function in the javascript and call this id so you can grab this uh, 10 value like this so we are getting this from the server like uh, in the data attribute so that's why we are passing the exact keys so I'm naming this, uh, let me name this uh, type and name this uh, uh, action, right? So save this one and give it a refresh. So our this error is going to resolve, right? So our this error is resolved, but it's now throwing another error that data table is not defined. So why it's throwing this error? Because of uh, we did not edit the uh, data table on the client side so we added the on the server side but we forgot to add the client side so let's add them on the client side so search jql data table cdn so it will be available so i added this uh, grapper extension so you can get this from the google grapper extension so you can add this it will pull the best answer at the top before you don't need to go to the website so if you did not install this let's go to this data table cdn official website and get the cdn so i grabbed the css cdn so i'm adding this in the head section and then i'm going to grab the another one script cdn so let's copy this one and uh, close this one and here i'm going to let me open this one i'm i'm going to tell you one more thing okay so i added this uh, here save this one and let's get refresh so check that our logic is going to work or not and wait for a moment and yes now it's displaying the exact data tables but it's throwing the error because our response is we are getting the response from the server is wrong right so it's uh, now displaying us the data table look that we can sort we can search and we can also show the entries based on our selection right so it means that this css and js cdn is work so we need to rate this up so i already created an account that's why i'm able to rate this one right so let's go here and uh, now the time is to debug this from the server side so what's the issue why it's not working on the server side so because we added this uh, return test so remove this one also remove this one and uh, add this uh, make here make true okay make uh, true so save this one this is also not going to work why because we are sending our request to not on the exact uh, place right so let's go to the network tab okay so it means that we are sending our request on the create so you can also double verify it that your website your request is forwarding on localhost 8000 slash category slash create so why it's sending on this web page because we are sending it on the index right we are sending it on the category index so let's go here and we did a mistake and so this is create route and i added this here uh, index right so for this i need to create a new route right for index so i need to name this uh, in all of one index so i created index route i named this uh, uh, method index and now this will locate this index so let's get refresh 
and hope you are learning a lot from these uh, ex uh, these mistakes because uh, you know that uh, now you are able to do this that how you can debug your code so if your request is not to uh, sending on the required page so how you can debug this where your request is coming along so okay and check that index is returning exactly result or not so let's open this here so we are sending the request on the 8000 index and it's draw column db column and here we are getting the value no we are getting everything good why it's not to let's go here and let me check that category turn make true i did this make true but it's still returning us an error that our this logic is not working so let me debug it do queries make data tables data tables okay and uh, here i'm getting this id name action okay 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 id name action type these are also good we are sending request on the categories index it's good data id name action go ahead and let me go to the console if there is any error so let's get refresh again uh, data table actually does not uh, uh, tell us the exact error so it says a table category um, result unknown require action for row zero okay so if i go here and comment this action out from here and also from the top right to here right so i want to tell you that why it's not working and then we are going to fix this action button also so there is no error so go here and yes our data is there in the id the name and the type right so it's exactly what working what we are looking for so now the time is to uh, arise a question that why this action is not working so i enable this here actions and then i have also enabled this uh, here and let me name this action okay i'm naming this uh, oops not any i'm going to name this action and i'm also orderable false also i'm going to searchable false why i'm adding this searchable false is because i don't want to search uh, uh, from uh, from this column i also don't want to make this uh, ascending or descending this column because these columns contain our edit delete and show buttons that's why i'm adding this orderable false and searchable false okay i name this action and here i need to also return this action here right so i need to add this uh, a column uh, i need to add uh, add a method this method would be add column oh my light is gone so here i need to define the column name so let me uh, copy uh, go to the new page and i need to get the exact syntax so here this for the first we need to define the column name right so here i need to define the column name so i want to define the action right so you can customize your keys so you can define whatever you want so i will tell you in a minute and then for the second would be the closure okay and this closure except to a row a full collection right uh, a row collection not a whole collection and then here you can uh, return this uh, uh, whatever you want but we want to only uh, pass the hard-coded HTML that's why I'm going to remove this row from there and uh, here I'm going to add uh, href button href and I'm going to not to let me add this href here and I'm going to uh, assign this a class of uh, btn oops btn btn info okay and then i'm going to uh, let me make this a a href 
I'm basically I'm adding a button from here, right? So here I need to close this so a tag. So I close this a tag and let me well, you can directly return it from there. Or if you have multiple line code, so you can store this into the variable. So I'm returning it from one line. So uh, it's telling us that add column. Why oh, it's not working? So let me debug this. Uh, oh, I need to add this here. The sign of this arrow. So then that will change this method here. So I want to return this button. So now this will re read as string. So how can I make this button in the data table? So I need to pass a property of raw column, right? Raw column array. And uh, here in the array, I need to define those columns which I want to define them as raw, not the string. So save this one and uh, give it a refresh. So now this will be rendered as HTML element, right? So let's give it a refresh and wait for a moment to complete this process. Unexpected identity fire. Hmm. Go there and what's the unexpected? Oh, I forgot to add the comma. I think I need to add a comma here. I'm not sure. Let me check it from my existing project. Basically, when you uh, know that how to do this, so you mm, copy the code, uh, copy the code, and paste it, and then go to the next level because uh, you don't want to every time write the code. That's why I'm doing the mistakes every time. I first I learned it, and then I'm copying the code again and again. Okay, so reference false is not defined. Weird stuff okay 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 why it's throwing this error so let me debug it name action order able i think i misspell it order able false search able false so i need to search able false oh flaws i added the flaws not the false right false save this one go here give it a refresh so it's going to solve our issue Sorry for taking too much time. Okay, it's rendering and it's stuck and throwing that there is an error. So what's the error? Go to the server side. Check that, what's the error? Go here. Mm, the error would be get server cross origin, localhost index. Mm. So it's uh, having due to this one let me go there uh, it's having due to this one right mm -hmm. so let me go to my code here add column add column method first i need to accept the raw and then oh i forgot to close this out i think no i closed it so let me check the video size oh it's going too much bigger sorry dears this action and uh, how can i debug this out let me check this from the old snippet grid that common function raw created turned it it's good why it's row columns i think i add the column not columns oh i need to add the columns oops columns go here get refresh and check that we are getting the data from there or not wait for a moment to complete this process and 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 yes 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 and yes now we are getting the button from there so let me add something in the button so it this would be an edit button save this one give it a refresh and check that we are getting the edit button or not okay 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 and yes we are going to get this button right 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 
wait for a moment to complete this process and yes we are getting this exactly button what we are looking for so uh, how we are rendering this we are rendering it from raw columns right so we are rendering it as HTML not as string that's why we are able to render this as HTML button so hope you like this video if you like this video subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will meet you in the next one bye bye